Are you confused by how we classify rockets, whether they're skill level one or two or three? That's what I'm going to cover in this video, and I'll be back in just a second. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to clear up a little bit of confusion that people have about what is a skill level one versus a skill level two. The way we classify them is what skills do you need to possess to be able to complete the rocket successfully? So we don't want to recommend to you a, a rocket kit that requires a lot of skills in order to complete it and to fly it successfully. We would rather that you start out with something simpler and then as you gain experience, graduate into those higher skill levels. Now, skill levels is different from certification levels. There are certification levels for high power rockets. These are cert level one, level two, and level three. And those deal with safety. It's all about, are you qualified and do you know the safety rules and can you follow those safety rules so that when you launch a high power rocket, it's safe. But what we're talking about for skill levels is completely different from safety levels. This is being prepared to build a rocket. Uh, now the skill levels, it's a little bit grayer and like you could have a skill level one, in a skill level two, but in skill level one category, there might be easier rockets and then harder rockets in that category. So there's kind of a gradient in the, each level. So some are really easy, but some are a little bit harder, but not quite to level two yet. So on this table from this point to this side are all skill level one rockets. So now the easiest ones to build are something that has a plastic fin unit like the Apogee Apprentice or the Estes Alpha 3. The reason for that is now it's a lot easier to build these because putting the fins on the rocket, you don't really have to because it's, it's kind of a plug and play system. You just plug your fins right into the tube. Uh, going up from there, we'll have something like uh, maybe like the blue streak. Um, now this one requires you to glue each individual fin onto the body tube. And that takes a little bit more skill than just plugging them in. Um, this one comes with a streamer, which is really easy to build. Uh, but the next level up from that would probably be something like the Apogee Avion. Again, you have to put the fins on um, and additionally, you have to build an engine mount and assemble a plastic parachute inside. So it's a little bit harder than the Blue Streak, but it's still simpler than other kits. So now this is kind of like the basic skill level one rocket. Um, so if you're starting out, this one would be a nice one to use if you're, um, if the modeler that's building it has some capability of gluing fins on. The hardest part about gluing fins on is having patience. So patience is a skill uh, because you have to wait for the glue to dry. And if you don't have the patience to wait for the glue to dry, the fins are gonna fall off before that glue dries. Um, skill level does not have anything to do with the size of the rocket. Like this is um, the Estes Big Bertha. And it is almost identical in building to the Apogee Avion. The only difference is the size. But the size really has nothing to do with the skill level involved. Um, here we have the Apogee Research Express. And this one, again, is like the Avion. Um, the only difference with this one, the next step up from that is this one has a payload bay on the top. So in addition to putting the fins on and assembling the parachute, you also have to build this part, which is really easy. It's just a couple of more parts in the kit. 
Um, here is an Estes Viking rocket. Uh, this one has five fins to put on, so it's a little bit harder. And also the fins are thinner and the thinner the fins, the harder they are to glue on. So while this is a skill level one, I would say it's almost borderline to skill level two. Okay, so we're coming out with a couple of new kits here at Apogee. And so here's what goes through my mind when I'm going to classify it. So now this one um, is called the Habu, which is kind of a snake looking rocket. And this was, this one's very similar to the Apogee Avion. So I'm leaning towards this being a skill level one rocket. Um, it's just three fins that you glue on. You have to uh, assemble the engine mount and a parachute inside. So this, I would say, is a skill level one. Now this one next to it, uh, we're gonna call the Atomizer. And it's almost identical. The difference is it has a ring fin on the outside. Now that is a new skill. That's a skill that takes a little bit more involvement to put that on because if your fins, if you put them on crooked or put them in the wrong spot, then this outer tube will probably not fit as easily. So we're gonna call this one a skill level two, even though it's only got like one extra component in the kit from this one here, the Habu. Uh, this one here, the Apogee Aspire, is also a very simple rocket. This one I would equate to the Blue Streak. The only difference is in size. So now this one is um, uses 18 millimeter motors. This one uses 29 millimeter motors. So, and they both come down with streamer. So there's even no parachute and they don't have engine mounts that you have to build inside. So we call this one a skill level two where this is a skill level one. So why would there be a difference? And the reason is because it uses bigger motors it's not the, the bigger size of the kit, it's the bigger motors. So where this one uses A's, B's, and C sizes, this one will use E's, F's, and G's. So that's a lot more power. Um, so you need more skills when you are flying this rocket to know how it's gonna take off and how it's gonna react. So even though it, it builds just as fast and just as easily as the Blue Streak, it requires more involvement in the flying aspects of the rocket. So this one is bumped up into a skill level two category. So if you are interested in knowing more about the Apogee skill levels on our website, we have a newsletter and I just printed this out from the newsletter. Um, and it's newsletter number 31. So there's a couple of ways you can get to this newsletter that explains the different skill levels. One way is when you go to a rocket kit on our kit page, on the page it will say, why is this a skill level one rocket? And the skill level one will be a link and it will link to that newsletter article. So that's one way of getting there. Another way is going to the advanced construction videos, listing all the newsletters and just scrolling through until you find skill um, newsletter number 31. That's number 31, which is explains the skill levels. And then the final way is if you go to the search bar at the top of the screen, type in the phrase, measuring your skill level. And that will also bring up a link right to this newsletter article that explains skill levels. So hopefully that it kind of explains what the different skill levels are and what kind of skills you will need to be able to successfully complete the rocket. Sometimes we'll take a rocket that's easy to build and put it in a higher skill level because we wanna make sure you're successful in building and flying it and recovering that rocket. Because we would rather you be successful than just basing your decision strictly on skill level. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Advanced Construction videos. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.